it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video on my map. So, <clears throat> since the last video, I have edged out uh, this field here and put in a section line for it. And I have brought over the uh, sugar beet piler and put it on. And I have tested it. This is only a um, storage point. So... What uh, what I'm going to do now is going to put a cell trigger on here and get these piles above the ground and whatnot. Um, I actually want this whole sugar beet heap for this side. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move this over here. <clears throat> and then I think, okay, so then we'll just make another one. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Okay, we'll just go like that. And we'll control D. Oops, attributes. And we'll put this to positive or not. Let's see. Can we get this thing turned? So we'll put this at 25. And then... We'll move this sugar beet heap over here. There we go. So now we can put this back to negative 25. Just drop that one down below the ground like that. And there we go. And then I think we'll just f leave the one on that side. Okay, so we got that. So now we can take that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this trigger. We're going to duplicate it. We're going to take it off of there. Put it onto the beat piler. And then we'll copy all this stuff. And now we'll rescale it to fit. Okay, we're going to make that straight. Okay, so that's big enough that way. So in this we'll make... Oh. This we'll put up to one. Oh, okay, so we gotta flip this like this then. So, what we gotta do here is go one point. Oops, wrong way. Dang it. <laughs> so, we'll make this 0 0.85. This will make. Oh, wait, that can stay at 1. And then this needs to be zero point not five. Let's try three. Nope, let's do four. 
Okay, so now we can take this one and delete it. And we need user attributes. Okay, so now we need to go here to the original map. And... We need to find a place that has sugar beets, just so that way we can figure out how they have the sugar beets added. Or how they have it written into the user attributes thing. Maybe they have their trigger set up totally different for sugar beets, so then we'll just take that one off and resize it, I guess. So then after we get this done, we're going to add the livestock auction building uh, end area, I guess I should say. So, okay. Um, so let's check locations. Grain elevator. So we need the user attributes section. Okay, so where is the grain elevator? There it is. And let's just make that a little bit smaller. So what we need is the trigger. Okay, so that's not it. Okay, how about the in? Where's the in? There it is. this a cell point? No, it's not. Okay, there's got to be a cell point for that on here somewhere. I just don't know where. Sugar beet. There we go. So it's just sugar beet. And we're going to put the price multiplier at 1. Station name Beet Piler. Okay. So now we got that. So we're going to create a transform group, and we're going to call this Livestock Auction. So now we need to go get some livestock equipment, so we don't need that. Okay, um, map objects, I don't need that quite yet. So we're going to go to American Eagles Modding. I know there's some good stuff here. Map objects. Uh, livestock sale barn. And then the calf barn. So we'll get those downloading. Because the calf barn is going to go out in the back. Um, then I need a map that has... Let's see, how do they have this one set up? I have an idea of what I want to set up, but I don't know of a map that has it. I don't know what map has it, I guess. Or if there is a map that even has exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, we're just going to call this plain simple sail barn.
and this will just be plain and simple calf barn. So let's look here. Okay, so this has a few different color options. So we have red and green. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So I think we'll go with the red one. Okay, then we gotta go to FS dash UK and get some gates LMS okay um oh that's why it's 13 LMS gates that's what I want because we need some gate panels Okay, so we can close that. Okay, so now what I want to look at here is just the sale barn to see how they set it up. If they've got this thing kind of set up the way that I... Okay, so this is about the, pretty much the way that I want it. Yeah, that's more or less exactly the same. Okay, so I guess we don't need this gate then. Um, sorting pen. Only difference that I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to make it all like a solid white instead of the rusted out. But... Sort pen. Okay, we'll just make this a nice solid white. Oh, why am I doing? Okay. We're going to go like this, and we're going to put to 100. There we go. Um, actually, I'm just going to save it, because maybe I might want to change it. I don't know. But let's just look at it here. So we're going to zero this thing in first off. You know what? I think we're going to try a red. Just because that kind of seems a little more fitting. And of course I didn't save it. Pfft. Jeez. Okay, so we'll click save. Yeah, I like that a lot better. That seems a little more fitting to me. Okay, so we got that. So now we'll go... We can close that one. We can go here. Models. Livestock. Sale barn. And we're just going to put all these in there. So... We'll go here.
Whoa, I don't want to export everything. All I want to do is import. Okay. So now we got some place put this. Got to put it somewhere. How about here, but on the ground. Okay, so is there an opening back here somewhere? Yes. There's actually two. Okay, so we're going to put this back here a little farther. Okay, so that'll go there. The pen will come... So this has to go like this. So then this will line up with this back gate here. So then we'll just get it in a little bit closer. There we go. Actually, we don't need this calf barn. Don't need it at all. If I need it later, I'll just re-download it. So now, we get our terrain editing out here. And get this like this, so that way we can do whatever here in a moment. Square. We'll go right here and go Control R. Make this nice and large here. And let me guess, it did not even didn't even take a thing. Didn't even take a reading. Oh, that'd be why. I'm in the wrong mode. Okay. Now, let's do this. Smooth this whole area out. Get a nice big area. Okay, so now I'll just turn the visibility off on that for a moment. While we go and do all of this fun stuff here. Okay, now we'll bring this back up, and then we'll get a uh, get a road brought in here for asphalt. And I think we'll put it right here.
So we'll put uh, dirt inside here. But that'll just be in a moment here. Um, so we'll go along there with that. And then we need to go... Right here and come along over to about there. Oops, getting a little far over there. Well, actually, we don't need to go that far over. We only need to go about there. This will be the access to back here. So this will need to be a nice big area for turning your truck around and whatnot. So then I want to bring this down over to up there and down to there. Okay, so now we'll just um, get up along in this area here, and then we'll get alongside of the building. Okay, so now we'll start to going with some dirt. You know what, actually, let's go and get rid of this grass first. Get that out of the way. So we'll start by clearing it off of the uh, asphalt here. And around the building. Let's just see how even I got this back here. Perfect, okay. So I'll just take this all the way up here. Okay, and we can bring that back up.
Okay, so now we'll bring this down to 5.5. Remove all this stuff alongside the road coming in. Okay, and then now we'll remove alongside of the pens. We get some bale feeders in here as well. put some grass back because I deleted way too much I can make my brush a little smaller here in doing this Almost got this connected now. There we go. So that side's done. So now I just gotta do this side. Okay, so now all the grass will stop from there all the way down to here. Okay, so now we'll get rid of the pens. And we'll start adding some dirt in here. That'll really show where where um, where there's grass left and whatnot so So now we'll go to the round brush here and we'll paint up here to that. There we go. Okay, we'll finish what we're doing here. Because right away I'm going to record another video, but I want to have this done first. Because the video that I'm going to do, I plan to do some other stuff, not this. So, so we're going to finish this up first. Ok, 
Okay, now let's bring these back on. Perfect. That looks awesome. Okay, so now we gotta do this building. Oops. Oh, wrong one. Again. Come on, I want the dirt to come out. There we go. It's kind of what I wanted. It's kind of working the way that I wanted it to, but then again, kind of not. It'd help if my brush size was bigger, but I really can't go any bigger. So if I went much bigger than this, it would just paint a lot more than what I want, which really I could go back and remove it, but if I don't have to, then that would be a lot nicer. Okay, so now we'll go back to asphalt and we'll just clean that up a little bit perfect now clip distance three hundred on all these Yeah, 300 is what I want, because I want to be able to see them better. I want to be able to see them from a bit of a distance. Okay, well, I'm just going to sit here and do this on this building and also um, the elevator, so it's going to be a lot of boring stuff, but um, yeah, I'm going to be doing some more stuff in the next one, so uh, you guys will see that. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias, my mod site, and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.